What is up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be doing eyelids on the VF headlights. We're gonna be doing custom ones ourselves. I'm gonna show you how to do it with the vinyl wrap. All right, here's what you're gonna need. Of course, first off, you're going to need your headlight. I've got a good line and good direct path where I wanna do it. Right, so here's roughly what you're gonna need. You're obviously gonna need your headlight. You're gonna need your vinyl. This should theoretically work with any vinyl that you can possibly get your hands on. You're gonna need some knifeless tape. I picked this up from Super Cheap Auto. I think it's like $30 for 10 meters. Pretty expensive, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You need your heat gun, you need a squeegee, need a squeegee, and you also need a knife or a blade or, yeah. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go get some wax and grease remover. I'll just clean this off, just make sure it's perfectly clean, and then uh, I'll lay the tape. Alrighty. So you'll also need some wax and grease remover or some isopropyl alcohol. I don't like to use isopropyl alcohol for things like this because alcohol at a high concentrate will crack the plastic. And uh, even though, yes, you can dilute it like most people will, it is so much easier to just use this. I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down, let it dry, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so we'll move the vinyl out of the way. So the purpose of the knifeless tape, that's actually gonna give us the line to cut the vinyl from underneath, because you don't wanna be cutting against the light, because that's how you break it. So I'm gonna follow the line that we've already been given. Now on this edge, I've gone a little bit lower creating my own custom line because when we're removing the face of these lights, I did have a bit of an oopsie. So we're gonna cover that with a vinyl. So you need to make sure that this is completely down because if it's not down absolutely 100%, it's gonna be an absolute nightmare and it's not gonna work. So once I've got that down, I'll then also add a bit of heat just to make sure it's 100% down. Now we apply the vinyl. Now this is way more than I need to do this, but it makes it a little bit easier. Which way should I go? Okay. All right, so you need to make sure you're going past the line because you need to go through it and cut it. So once you've made sure that it is all completely wrapped around that tape, doesn't matter how it looks underneath. I'm going to trim off some of this excess vinyl. Boom. Now you can peel away the bottom. which is still joined at the other end, because I'm an idiot. Now heat. Now we trim. I'm gonna wait until the wrap cools down, because that'll be a smarter way to cut it. Just trimming away the excess here, because the excess wrap will always get in the way and be annoying. I might even tuck some of it down so you can't see it around certain angles. Now I'm literally just pushing it in that inside edge. Now I've got something to cut along the top side. Now on this edge here, because you've got a curve, what I do at least, so that you don't have all this bunched up area just around here, is I'll heat and I'll stretch past it. So now I'll grab it all, stretch past. Now you got that perfect edge there. All right, so now just trim. Jump. 
boom. And then you have your own custom headlight eyelid. Now, yes, it is a little bit wonky here, but again, that's because of my stuff up. There wasn't anything else under that. Now that's how it's come out and it looks perfect. Alrighty, I'm gonna go put this in the car and see how it looks. Just like that, we have our own homemade eyelid. So now the body line follows along with the line. You don't have kind of like this wasted top up here. But it's cool because Holden specifically give, gave you a line to follow pretty much. And it comes out wicked. Gives it a real aggressive look. And now, uh, yes, I know you're probably wondering about the, uh, the black insides of the headlight and how the light is reproduced. I've had a lot of people asking me questions on that. So literally what I'm doing is waiting for it to get a bit darker tonight. And literally I will do a test so that you can see and I can see exactly what the light output's like. Now, obviously the low beam, which is the uh, projector, won't change whatsoever because it's just, it's just shooting light straight out of the projector. But it will be really cool to see what the difference is when you've got a black reflective surface compared to a silver reflective surface. Alrighty, so now we'll cut into night. Alrighty, so it's night time. Definitely a dark one. So I'll uh, turn this light off and we'll be able to see. So first off, we may as well test indicator. So you can actually see, it's maybe just a little bit not as bright, but you can still see it clear as day. Alrighty, so first off, we're gonna test headlights. So I'll walk over here, turn off that. So obviously there is no difference in the headlights because they're both shining from the same housing. Uh, if not, the one on the right is brighter and that would be because I've sanded and polished the face and it is a lot less dirty, if you can see that at all. Alrighty, so now high beams. Alrighty, so instantly straight away, I can already see that the right-hand side is brighter. I know that that doesn't really show much. Can you see it from up here? Like, that is still absolutely blinding. Absolutely blinding. But that is, yeah, that's, that's like a whole spotlight of blinding. So if I stand in front of this, wow, yeah, you can barely see it when it's just shooting out like that. And then when I move out of the way of this one, wow, so there is a huge difference. So that's me covering the left side, next to no difference. Covering the right side, massive, night and day. So that is pretty disappointing to see that it has lost quite a bit of its uh, high beam, but I barely drive it at night kind of thing. So it, like I said, it's not the end of the world. It is still super bright and it'll probably get a massively long distance still, but it is, it is nothing compared to that. That actually is very blinding. So yeah, I'm a, a little bit blinder now from staring into those lights for a couple minutes. But uh, it was definitely good to see and have a comparison because I have seen a lot of these custom lights and I know that not many people would have a comparison of being able to see which is which or what it's like before and after. So it is really cool that I got to do that. Um, so now for those people asking, yes, there is a difference. There, you do lose quite a bit of output from, uh, from doing it, but you still get that distance. You just don't get that broader, uh, the broader array of, of the light bouncing off everything but they still work and they're still really bright. I do have LED ones, so that may be why. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. For any of you new viewers, please consider subscribing. And yeah, we are thinking of doing stickers. We do have all, these, all this new merch and everything that we are thinking of releasing too. But at the moment, it's a little bit of a touchy subject, especially when there's so many people in the world that aren't fortunate enough to, to have a job, people that have been put out of work and people just in really shit situations. So it'd be kind of rude and uh, disrespectful to release them now. So we were, we're gonna release them when we hit 5K, but yeah, with things looking the way they are, we might push it until, I don't know, maybe 10K or until, just until all of this is over or starting to look a bit better. So uh, at least for now, that's gonna be the end of this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will be on Monday morning, on oh, Monday morning, which will be on Monday afternoon, 6 p.m. Alrighty guys, I'll catch you in that one. Peace.
ain't bugging, there's nothing that we got in common I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper Got tired of eating that ramen All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat I've been blessed with impeccable timing Watch all them people who friendly, it turn into envy Whenever they see that you shining Okay, I'm